Uh, last but not least, on the issue of uh, our decisions on security and defence of the European Union, uh, is the deepening of the European defence cooperation. Here, the Council uh, has decided uh, on an agreed uh, structure uh, for developing an inclusive permanent structure cooperation in the course of 2017, based on inputs provided by Member States, uh, a permanent structure cooperation that should be open to all Member States that are willing to make the necessary binding commitments. Uh, obviously, any capability that might be developed through the permanent structure cooperation will remain owned and operated by Member States. Member States have one set of forces that can then be used either in EU or in UN or in NATO um, frameworks. And uh, the Council has uh, agreed uh, this uh, ambitious but also very pragmatic way of moving forward. So the governance of PESCO was uh, agreed. Uh, I don't know if you want me to go into the details now. You find it in the Council conclusions. It would essentially consist of two layers. Uh, at the Council level, all Member States are present to ensure transparency and coordination. And PESCO participating Member States entitled to vote. And then at the level of projects and initiatives, where only those member states contributing to each specific project or initiative will be represented. So we have an inclusive but also modular approach. Uh, and obviously now, this doesn't mean that we launch the permanent structure cooperation now, but this means that member states agreed on the governance uh, that uh, needed to be developed, because as you know, permanent structure cooperation was uh, mentioned in the treaties but never explored. So we worked in this uh, last couple of months to agree on a framework of governance. Now uh, member states agreed to work on uh, concrete projects that can be identified. And then uh, the uh, EES and uh, the European Defence Agency will provide support uh, to the implementation of this uh, work of PESCO and uh, also coordinating uh, with the Commission that will be associated to ensure coherence with the uh, European Defence Fund that can support permanent structural cooperation projects. And the Council agreed to take, <coughs> sorry, to take this work forward uh, to uh, reach an agreement to launch uh, the permanent structural cooperation as soon as possible and revert to the matter, preferably already in June. So as you see, uh, this was a very substantial work that was done by Member States uh, with uh, uh, unanimity in these last months. 